Hatikva House came about 25 years ago when some local families uh, who had developmentally disabled adults in their families came together to create a loving and stable home where their adult children who were developmentally disabled could live. And thus came about Hatikva House. Hatikva means hope in Hebrew. And the house has thrived all these years with, uh, with variously four to six residents. And we've had a long time administrator who recently retired. That's the story of Hatikva House, this little pearl of Jewish values right here in the heart of Silicon Valley. We realized we needed to find a new provider to look after Hatikva House when our longtime house administrator decided to retire. And so when we couldn't find a new administrator, uh, we were introduced to LSA and found that LSA's values aligned with ours and that we might have a great marriage here. And that's how this came to be. What was my first thought when I when I heard about um, Hatikva? Um, and it was really, oh, oh my gosh, you know, here's another um, nonprofit with a, a, a home in Santa Clara County that's looking at uh, closing. And in the case of Atifa Home, they were really struggling with um, staffing. And so we started off the conversation with, um, you know, how, how could we possibly help the situation to keep this home uh, up and running? and to not exacerbate uh, the situation with um, more need than capacity here locally. There, there must be some way, um, you know, we can work together to uh, avoid the home closing. And that really was where we, where we started with um, um, you know, discussing the situation, exploring what what possible uh, alternatives might look like. The, the staffing shortages are uh, a serious um, state, and um, and LSA um, could could be really helpful in terms of being able to not only uh, find staff to staff the house, but also to um, to run it. Oh, LSA has been terrific in fulfilling our expectations. They've been running the house under contract to us for a couple months now and have done a great job. The, the residents are pleased, their families are pleased. Uh, things have run very smoothly. LSA also has been very um, strong in continuing to support the Jewish traditions in the house. Especially, we maintain a kosher kitchen and only bring kosher food into the house, and LSA has embraced that. So it's really uh, gone right according to our, our expectations, and I might say our expectations are very high, and so that's quite a compliment to LSA, but not necessarily a surprise. This little pearl of Jewish values is easy to overlook in the, in the big city of Silicon Valley, but it's really endearing our residents are wonderful and delightful people. So it's just heartwarming that it's been able to thrive all these years. And now in the embrace of LSA has another 25 years ahead of it to provide uh, uh, that warm embrace of Jewish values for these, uh, for our residents with, they've got disabilities, but they're wonderful people and are living full lives. And they're doing that at Hot Tick the House and operate the home going forward the question really became so how how does this further lsa's mission and i think the this really a straightforward answer here is it allowed us to um keep uh that capacity in our community so tying back to our mission our mission is to provide, you know, exceptional community living for adults with disabilities. And by avoiding a house closing, 
we were able to directly further our mission. And in this particular case, it allowed LSA to grow from um, 14 to 15 homes to support um, an additional six adults. Truly been a, a pleasure, you know, working with the Atikva House uh, families and uh, board members, in particular, their board president, uh, uh, David Hurwitz. Um, it's really, really been a pleasure, you know, working with them to um, make this happen and make it happen in a way that would, uh, I think, benefit everyone.